We may have enough electricity to use nowadays, but the demand in electricity has been increasing gradually. If we cannot find more power sources to generate electricity within the next five years, Thai people will not have enough power. 15 billion units and more is the statistic of electricity consumption in the southern area of Thailand in 2014, which has a tendency to increase at 5% per year. It indicates that Songkhla is the province that uses electricity the most, about one-fifth of the southern areas. When the demand in electricity is subject to increase over the current generating capacity and availability, Electricity Generating Authority of Thailand, or EGAT, then has the mission to seek for guidelines to deal with energy crisis that could happen to the southerners in the near future. The construction of a new power plant to be used as the main power plant is the option that Electricity Generating Authority of Thailand has deliberately researched and studied on the possibility that the Clean Co Technology Power Plant is the suitable power plant. With the advanced electricity generating technology, with the clean and modern environmental management, we can be assured that the Clean Co Technology Power Plant will be a new dimension that cares for the environment, stands by the community, and participates in community development to reach the sustainability. First of all, let's get to know the clean coal that we use to fuel the coal power plant. Subbituminous or bituminous is a high quality coal that has low sulfur content and provides high calorific value, thus making the combustion use less fuel. The imported coal from Indonesia or Australia will be transported by vessel which is designed to customize with our project. The vessel is environmentally friendly by its closed system with hydraulic driven hatch cover for 11,000 deadweight tonnage. When the coal cargo ship arrives at the port, the coal then will be unloaded from the ship to the closed system conveyor belt by using the screw type unloader to scoop up the coal to the conveyor located on the pier with three kilometers in length. This conveyor will deliver the coal to the closed system storage building. Tepa Clean Co Technology Power Plant has two units with installed capacity of 1,100 megawatts. Each consists of major structures, including cargo pier. The co-receiving jetty is designed to be 3 kilometers long. The height of our port is 5 meters above the highest sea level. In the middle of the jetty, the height will be escalated to 9 meters for the fishing boats to pass under the center of the terminal. The co will be transported to stockpile through closed system co conveyor which will be constructed on the jetty. Power plant area, consisting of electricity generating building, closed system storage building, and operation building. There are also areas provided as public use for the community, such as a park, a community learning center, sport area, pit and contest area, and Islamic worship building. Tepa Clean Co Technology Power Plant is a modern power plant with an environment concern technology. We apply ultra supercritical technology, which is the technology that escalates the overall electricity generating process to be more efficient. 
It means that we can reduce the level of fuel consumption comparing to the traditional technologies. The electricity generating process starts by transferring the coal into the coal pulverizer. It grinds the coal into powder, then blows it along with the air into the combustion chamber. The burning then causes the heat emission and transfers the energy to the water in the pipes around the chamber's wall. This increases the water's temperature to boiling point and becomes high pressure steam. Then, the steam will accumulate through the pipes to spin the steam turbine mounted to the generator. In parallel, the magnetic field will circle through the coil inside and generate the electricity. The steam that passes through the steam turbine will go to the condenser to transfer the heat to the water in the cooling system. The steam will be condensed back into water and will be sent back to be boiled into steam in the combustion chamber for spinning the steam turbine again. This cycle happens in the closed system. The cooling system is used to condense the steam from the electricity generation into fluid. It takes the seawater to absorb the heat from the steam in the condenser, making cooling water hotter. Consequently, a part of this water already passing the condenser will be used in sulfur dioxide removal process, then will be returned to the cooling water from the condenser before it is sent through the seawater condition adjusting process. After being adjusted, all the cooling water will go to the cooling tower for temperature adjustment to reach the similar temperature level of the seawater outside before being sent back to the natural water source. To ensure the people of Te Pa that this power plant can truly be a part of this community, the chosen ultra-supercritical technology helps increase the efficiency of the power plant's environmental management. And can remove mass pollutants in the air to be below the legal measure. The management procedure on the contamination of oxides of nitrogen mercury vapor, mercury contaminated dust, lead, arsenic and cadmium and sulfur dioxide is done in the following processes. In removal process of oxides of nitrogen or NOx with SCR technology or selective catalytic reduction, NOx will be removed first by spraying ammonia to react with NOx through the catalyst and be separated into water and nitrogen, which are the main components in the air. NOx is now removed in this process. The next step is the mercury vapour collection that helps remove mercury at least 90% by using activated carbon injection technology or ACI that injects the carbon to absorb the existing mercury vapour. The powdered coal then disperses with other dust and mass and move to electrostatic precipitator process or ESP. This method applies the principle of electric potential difference to induce the dust which is negative charge to move toward the collecting plate, which is positive charge. The collected dust, or the fly ash, will accumulate on the collecting plate, then will be kept in the silo within the power plant's area, prepared by Electricity Generating Authority of Thailand. Now we move on to seawater flue gas desulfurization, or seawater FGD. The process sprays the seawater, which is alkaline, to react with sulfur dioxide, which is acidic. The seawater will adjust the acidity to neutral. 
Then, it will flow to the aerated lagoon to add oxygen back. After this process, sulfur dioxide turns into sulfate, which is an element of natural seawater. For the quality management on the seawater, which is pumped for two processes within the power plant, the cooling system and SWFGD system, Electricity Generating Authority of Thailand has a measure prepared for any possible impact to the marine and coastal resources. The design allows the seawater to flow under 0.3 meter per second, which is the speed that the aquatic animals can swim upstream and leave. Grates are also installed for keeping young aquatic animals out. The used seawater from the cooling system and SWFGD will be added by oxygen and its temperature will be decreased down to the temperature of the natural seawater with maximum 1 degree Celsius higher. Ultra supercritical technology also provides the byproduct of bottom ash that is left from the combustion process in the power plant and fly ash that comes from the mass pollutant removal technology. To cope with this, EGAT has prepared an underground holding tank which is bottom sealed for preventing the leakage to the soil. It is 10 to 15 meters deep with the edge of 3 to 5 meters high. Trees are planted around the tank to prevent dust diffusion. The tank can keep the byproduct as long as the power plant's useful life. This byproduct can be used for industrial and agricultural sectors as well. We still keep on studying and searching for the pursuit to energy security for Thai people to use electricity sustainably. This is our important mission. EGAT believes that Tepa Clean Co Technology Power Plant will be a new dimension that cares for the environment, is able to stand by the community around the power plant, and participates in the community development plan for the sustainability. Cooperate for sustainable electrical system for Thailand. Improve the quality of life of the people of Te Pa. Reserve the environmental balance. Develop the community for sustainability. Clean Co Technology Power Plant. The power plant for the community. New dimension for Te Pa.